Why did you develop the six-stage plot structure? What, what was the impetus for that? Well, it, it's, I, I'm hesitant to say I developed it. It's what I detected when I watched movie after movie and read script after script after script uh, and looked at what consistently happens in those that are successful. Successful commercially and also successful artistically, at least as evidenced by awards and so on. But most of all, they're successful commercially. What is it that happens in movie after movie that Hollywood is producing that isn't happening in all those thousands of scripts that are getting rejected? And when I dug in and picked it apart, what I found was that there are consistently six stages to any successful story or any successful movie. I should pause here to say when I talk about, when I say any or always, you should translate that to me 90% of the time because I like to talk in absolutes and there's always gonna be some exceptions and so on. But so often, in a, a successful movie can bro be broken into these same six stages and those stages are created by the five key turning points and those turning points always occurred at the same point in the movie at the same percentage of the running time so when i started recognizing that it was happening that consistently then i figured people need to know about this so i began lecturing about it and i began incorporating it into my coaching and then i studied it more and developed it into what I call my particular approach to looking at the structure. Uh, but it's not that I was discerning things that are significantly different from the other structure that you'll hear. So if you talk to Chris Vogler about his hero's journey structure, or John Truby, or Bob McKee, or Sid Fields, or whoever it might be, it's not that we're all disagreeing with each other, it's just that as Chris said one time, we're all looking through different windows at the same thing. We're all looking at the same movies and the same stories and just looking from our point of view of how can we simplify this process by, by sort of reducing it down to something that would be very easy to consistently follow as you're writing scripts.